Hi, Paul here from Trek It with Harry behind the lens as usual. And we're out today in the uh, rather stormy looking Black Mountains. We're on the eastern edge of the Black Mountains, surrounded by rainstorms underneath the Black Darren, uh, filming waterproofs, which is really quite appropriate because uh, it's just started to rain. Uh, this is the brand new uh, mounted equipment Lotsi jacket. And in this video, we will be talking about what it is, what it's made from, what its features are, what it's good for, and why we think it's such a brilliant new jacket for mountain equipment for this season. Harry, your camera's camera is going to get very wet. I think we should um, go and get in the car before we get soaked. A few moments later. Right, uh, the, the, the big storm has gone that way. Uh, it's still raining a little bit, but hey, I've got a Gore-Tex jacket on, so I should be okay. So let's try and carry on. I'm sure Harry will let me know if his precious camera is getting a bit wet. So what is the new mountain equipment Lotsi jacket? Well, the Lotsi is mountain equipment's best-selling and multi-award winning Gore-Tex hard shell jacket. It's kind of it's kind of the, 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 the only jacket you're going to need unless you're doing some very, very hardcore, serious mountaineering. It'll cope with uh, general hill walking. It'll cope with country walking around the Black Mountains, for instance. It'll cope with some light mountaineering, some Scottish mountaineering, even a bit of alpine work. It's a, it's a really, really versatile jacket uh, that suits just about everybody. If you just could buy one jacket, for all of your mountain activities, the load seat should be on your wish list. So what's it made from? Well, uh, as I said, it's made from Gore-Tex. It's a three layer laminate construction and it's part of the new Gore-Tex Pro family. So mountain equipment have made this uh, out of the most breathable fabric. Now there is, like I said, a family of fabrics available from Gore-Tex. Rain's getting a bit heavier, might put the hood up. Uh, if you want to geek out on all of the details about the new Gore-Pro family of fabrics, Harry will put a link up here. Go and have a look at that video. We've given you all the details. But this is a three layer laminate construction in the most breathable fabric. So three layer laminate, you've got a face fabric, a tough nylon face fabric. And this jacket, in fact, you've got two different weights of fabric. You've got that EPTF e membrane stuck in the middle, providing all of the durable, waterproof and breathableness that the jacket requires. And then on the inside, you've got the new solution dyed micro backer. It's a really smooth backer that slides over layers really nicely, glides around. Solution dyeing uses a lot less water than traditional dyeing techniques, making it a much more environmentally friendly product. Hood up time. Blech getting wet. So like I said, it's, uh, it's made using two different weights of fabric. Uh, in, the, in the main body, uh, underneath the arms and around the back, you got a 40D nylon. That's a good kind of light to midweight fabric that is durable enough, but yet light and supple, easy to use and gives increased breathability because you've got that lighter weight face fabric. Then over the top of the arms and over the yoke and the shoulders, you've got uh, an 80D fabric just to give you kind of those reinforced areas that are prone to the most abuse. So they've really thought about the different types of fabric and because of the uh, new family of Gore products, uh, you can kind of mix and match different weights of different fabrics much easier than you could have done before. Well, I say you, I mean mountain equipment, Arcteryx, Rab, Montane, whoever. Manufacturers, brands can mix and match fabrics much better than they could before. Uh, and as well as all that, so uh, mountain equipment buy the fabric from uh, Gore, and then they use their storm construction techniques to create the jacket. They don't just sew it together willy-nilly, they use their, their decades of experience in mountaineering and in expeditions to uh, place the seams in the right place, to make sure bar tacks are placed in there, they're reinforced, all the components of the jacket, all these things combine to ensure the maximum protection when you're out in the elements, up in the mountains, where, as we can see today, the conditions can change very quickly for the worse. 
So I've just taken the uh, Loxy jacket off uh, just to show you the inside, really to, we were talking about that um, storm construction technique. And you can see here the little skinny taping, the laminated seams, little reinforced areas here, reinforcement laminations around the bottom of the zips. ME have put an awful lot of thought and design skill into the making of this jacket. The skinny tape keeps the weight and the bulk to a minimum. Also improves breathability because uh, seam taping isn't breathable. So the less you've got of it, the more breathable the jacket's gonna be. And you can see the amount of work that's got into the patterning and the overall shape of the jacket. Even down to laminated seams on the side and at the base, just to stop uh, water wicking in through stitching in those prone areas. It really is uh, a lovely thing to behold. And it's a, it's a, it's a cracking jacket. Right, features, let's uh, start where we normally do up at the top of the jacket and work our way down, uh, give you a full overview of all the features of this jacket. Um, and to be honest, uh, it's got everything that you need, nothing too superfluous. I really like the load seat. It's a good do everything jacket. So up at the top, mountain equipment have used their Mountain HC. HC stands for helmet compatible. So like me today, if you've just got a cap on, the hood is comfortable, it's not too voluminous, it's not big and baggy. It's got a really nice uh, laminated and wired brim over the front. Can we do that bit again? Yeah. <clears throat> it's got his SUV, he's up the mountains. SUV. <laughs> just, just a high car. Okay, so let's go through the features and as usual, we'll start up at the top. Uh, and, and work our way down. There are some good features on this jacket, well thought out, well designed. So, Mountain Equipment have used their Mountain HC hood. They, they use a different design of hood depending on the intended use of the jacket. Mountain HC, it's for use in the mountains. HC, it's helmet compatible. If like today, like me, you're just wearing a cap underneath or indeed nothing, if you're going commando under your hood, uh, the hood is not too big and baggy that it will fit. You've got a volume adjuster at the back and you've got two draw cords at the side to cinch the volume out of the hood if it is a bit big. And then you've got this really nice laminated uh, peak at the front with a wire so you can mould it. Uh, I'm a really big fan of the ME hoods. They work really well, particularly uh, if like me, you tend to wear a baseball cap all of the time, all of the year round. Um, just basically because I'm follically challenged. But I tend to wear one under a hood. It's just more comfortable. You don't get that kind of clammy, sweaty feeling next to the fabric if you've got a bald head. And uh, it just means it helps with the hood to maintain its shape. Um, but even if you are hoodless, hatless, sorry, the hood works really well. You can cinch it down, take that volume out zip it up, pull it down at the sides. So yeah, a really good hood. So, and also built into the side of the hood fabric itself, where these little black squares are, uh, are cohesive cord grips. So rather than those little fiddly little button grip things that used to get on here, you simply squeeze it, pull, squeeze it, release, and that adjusts the cord on the side of the hood. Super easy to use. If you've got big bulky gloves or mitts on and it just keeps the uh, lines really clean and uncluttered around the hood where you might get fabric and buckles and things whipping you in the face in windy conditions so really nice uh, move, moving on to the main zip it's a, a, a lightweight ykk aqua guard zip really handy in conditions like this a two-way with a little popper at the bottom which means you can unzip from top and bottom create ventilation without the jacket flapping around everywhere really nice little feature and also it means you can undo from the bottom if you want to get to your climbing harness to get to your belay plate your protection etc or if you just need to answer the call of nature uh, moving on to pockets you've got two a-line pockets one either side here and one napoleon chest pocket up on the outside of the jacket these are nice big pockets go right down to here and right up to here Easily get hats, gloves, bits and pieces like that in there. Not a problem at all. Rain's coming down again, Harry. Yeah. And inside one of the pockets, you will also find some pocket advice. 
And that's not about what to put in your pocket, but it's basically saying that despite uh, ME's best efforts and YKK's best efforts, pockets are not 100% waterproof. They just can't be because the, the, the nature of their construction. Uh, and so they're basically saying if you've got uh, a mobile phone, a GPS unit, any electrical, any electronic device that uh, obviously needs to stay dry to work properly, put it inside a waterproof bag if you're going to keep it in the exterior pocket. Quite simple, really. They're not 100% waterproof. Same goes for the main zip, to be honest. Not 100% waterproof. So ME have backed it up with a, an extra bit of fabric on here. So if any water does get through, it's channeled down to the bottom of the jacket and out. Same in the pockets. You've got that extra bit of fabric here. So the fabric, the rain, any rain that does get through gets channeled down. You know, we're talking minimal amounts here, but if you're out in really wet and horrible conditions like we are today, and you're out in it all day, yomping around, inevitably a bit of rain will seep through a zip somewhere. Okay, moving on. More zips under the arms. You've got pit zips, extra ventilation, and then you've got pre-cut and articulated sleeves to give you lots of freedom of movement around the shoulders and around the arms, and nice long sleeves. So if you open up the cuffs at the bottom, you can hide your hands away inside if it's raining, keep your hands warm. Sleeves are finished off with a uh, little hook and loop or Velcro uh, tab, which easily tightens up around my skinny little wrists, but opens up nice and big. So you can get your gloves on and your mitts seals up nice and tight. And, and a great shape to the sleeves. You know, you can, you can lift up, you get a bit of lift at the bottom, but not a huge amount. So you've got room for scrambling, mountaineering, that kind of thing. And then down the bottom of the jacket, you've got Emmy's dual tether draw cord. So you've got two draw cords, one which runs from the uh, either side of the zip to the side and another one which runs from there to the back. So you can tighten up the back by pulling those cords. And you can see it comes right down over my bum, cinches in nice and tight. Or you can pull up the front, that tightens up there. Personally, I just prefer to use the back cords because it, uh, it doesn't feel so restrictive around the front, particularly if you've got a harness on. Uh, and then it just closes up really nice around the back. The wind's coming up the valley this way today and you'd close that up and instantly you start to warm up inside the jacket and create a really nice little microfiber of warm, moist air that actually helps the jacket to breathe better. So close it all up, create a little fug inside, bang, out it goes through the Gore-Tex fabric. Okay, so how does this new Lutzi jacket fit? Well, uh, it fits me really nicely. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm six foot three, 42 inch chest, 34 inch waist, and I weigh about 13 and a half stone. And this is a size large, and it's absolutely bang on. It's really nice to wear. I think the, um, the fabric has got quite a lot to do with that. Uh, this feels nicer than the previous Lutzi. It just, it feels lighter for a start. It just feels a bit more comfortable, a bit more pliable, uh, and it's just a joy to wear. The shape is fantastic. It's nice and slim through the waist and the hips, but lots of room around the shoulders and the chest and arms to give you loads of freedom of movement. So underneath this, I've just got uh, an Arcteryx Phase SL base layer and an amount equipment switch jacket, which is kind of my go-to setup for this time of year uh, up in the mountains. Uh, I like to uh, be bold and start cold because I know I'm going to warm up. Having said that, there is room underneath this for a lightweight insulating layer, something like an Atom LT would be perfect under here. Uh, and then if you're going to stop on a belay, uh, if you're going to stop for any length of time out in really extreme conditions, you'd pop a belay jacket over the top to seal in all that warmth and then whip it off and get going again. So yeah, a really nice fit, lovely jacket to wear. It's worth noting as well, actually, this is uh, one of Emmy's slightly longer jackets. So for hill walking, general uh, mountain use, it's a really practical length, gives you a bit more coverage down over the hips. Certainly comes down below my bum at the back. So yeah, really great fit. Okay, thanks very much for bearing with right to the end of this video. Uh, we're gonna have to pack up because Harry's precious camera is getting very wet. And see the rain bouncing off it. Uh, but to summarise, the Lotsi uh, is deservedly uh, Emmy's best-selling and award-winning jacket. 
pretty much one jacket for everything. If you're into walking, if you're into hiking, trekking, mountaineering, it'll cope with just about anything. It's a pleasure to wear, and thanks to the new Gore-Tex Pro Most Breathable Fabrics, it gives high performance in all conditions. So if you've liked the video, hit that little thumbs up button. And if you want to be kept informed of all our latest releases, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And that way you'll know when we post a new video. Thanks very much for watching. And normally at this point, so I'm going to go for a little walk, but there's no way I'm going to go back in the car, get my flask out and have a cup of tea. Toodaloo.